I am ready. Are you guys ready? Yep, we're good to go. Alright, so we've got Kukuba on Kate. And Vinegary Mink was just playing standard Astrobiotics, right? Or was he the one playing the hybrid guy? Uh, I haven't seen Vinegary Mink, so you guys would know better than I do right now. Uh, yeah, he's just. So this is just going to be standard NEH versus Kate. Kukuba's first time. Aren't any of these people in bed with? All right, we're gonna remake this game. It was a bug. It's all good. I think it's because Vinegar dragged it to the board. He did what? He dragged his hand to the board. I like, dragged the card to the board rather than Control Shift S. Because sometimes it's going to mess up. Alright, so we're waiting on Cuckoo Butter remake now. Let's take a look at the brackets in the meantime. Should I enter this raffle? No. <laughs> Let me know who wins, though. Like, that's it. So, so, in the undefeated bracket, we've only got four players left. We've got Jason Dang, we've got Warpstone, we've got Vinny Remake, Alex White, and Cuckoo Bot. Let's, let's learn a little bit about Kukuba because because who is Kukuba? Who is Kukuba? Tell me more. Well, let's see. Dale Kimpo. Dale Kimpo. Dale Kimpo from the Philippines. Philippines playing in the tournament. So this Good. is like my favorite thing about hosting these online invitational tournaments is that you bring out these players who probably never got a chance ever in their lives to play in in like um like a big tournament. Big tournament, yeah. It's always good to see because you get to see like various different metas come together. I'm in the game. All right, as we saw before, this is going to be a Kate versus NEH matchup. Let's see if we can get the uh, Octagon to work with us this time. Right, it looks like that setup worked pretty cleanly. All right. So Ravel's not done yet? Not done yet. Is Kukuba but here? He's here. He just loaded his deck. I think he's still trying to fiddle how to sh start share and everything. Uh, I think Vinegar Bank's going to be uh, mulling in the sand, though. The sand looks pretty disgusting. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. The fluid damage from sand's at quad three. Kukuba is here. Kukuba crashing again. Oh, did you crash earlier? 
No, vinegar he crashed earlier. Oh, I said my money. Maybe he fell asleep. What time is it over there? In the Philippines? Yeah, you just gotta feed the penguins. Oh wait, no, that's Canada. <laughs> uh, Cuckoo was having an issue. I like to go and hang. For him? I like to go and hang for him? Oh. Yeah, I see it. What do you mean you see it? Oh, uh, on the, um, stem half worms? For Kukuba? Yeah. Maybe it's a remake? I think most people that are in there have been I'm just gone out so he's able to join the raffle. Alright, let's get out of this game. Cool. Right, tell, tell him Vinegar is being like Well, in the meantime, I'll just put something else to watch for people. I'll bring up Kalimsha and Jazz. I think that game's pretty much over. Is it? Yeah, it was almost over. Two Astro counters for, for uh, Jazz. Alright, I'm restarting my Octagon. Clinchers and losers, right? Yeah. I think so. Oh. Yeah, they either got any one four on two. Right, right. I don't know where any one can. Five points to Kate. Uh, all right. Let me know when everything sorts out. Alright, the new game is out. Get it. Alright. Kukuba restart. Kukuba is no longer in Octagon. So he's probably restarting his computer or something. That's all Anthony can draw the raffle pool now. Now's a good time to do the raffle, right? Does he have any response to the Um, no, he's resetting his octagon right now. Alright, so we have a winner of the raffle. The raffle winner is Ravelord Nitto. 
Rave Lord and Nitto, congratulations. You're going to be getting an ANR PC wooden RP ID, as well as the yet to be released acrylic NEH. On the back side, you've got the um, business cards of some prominent executives from the firm. Uh, here we've got uh, the NAPD badge of Caprice Nisei for the RP. Um, and these are going out to the top eight of the tournament as well. Um, so, Rave Lord, um, if you would please PM me on Stimhack with your address, uh, name and address, and I'll get those sent out to you um, as soon as we get the NEH IDs. It should be. I'll send them out just after World, so you can expect them within a couple months. Are we going to Worlds? You can get our Worlds. Yeah, and if you're going to Worlds, I can just give them to you there. What time do you say this round ends? 3.50? Three fifty, I think, yeah. Kukuba is still not online. No, he was there not. Let me know when he's back. I'm gonna put up some other stuff. Uno Momentarino. All right, everybody. Now's a good time to uh, note that um, we're always looking for donations to help fund the prizes for these events. Um, if you'd like to help out, Right now, everything's coming like straight out of my pocket for the most part. We have a few donations, but we're nowhere. Um, if you'd like to donate, it would be a big help. Um, I'm going to post a link in the chat here. It is simhack.com slash about. Um, you can hit up the PayPal donate button. Um, every little bit is appreciated. No amount is too little. Um, so please... Uh, try and help us out. It'd be a big deal. Takes longer for the internet to bounce the Philippines and back. You think so? No. I don't think so either. <laughs> Whoa. Jazz just used two Africanos for NAPD, putting him with six points. He says, logging into Octagon now.
important to ask. You don't want to use PayPal for donations. You can PayPal directly to me, and it will take no money. Dan, Gargenio.dan at gmail.com for the donations. I'll know what it is. If you're really worried about, like, the amount of money that PayPal takes for donations. We're actually going to be switching to uh, Patreon soon. That'll help keep the, uh, the, 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 uh, the website going. Um, this is these, these donations are just for this tournament. Um, in the future, we're going to be seeking donations, and we're going to be you know giving back to people who do donate. Um, but we have we have yet to set that up. We've been pretty busy with this tournament. World's coming up. Uh, Anthony's been away for a little bit, so a lot to worry about. So much to worry about. So Klimsha beats uh, Jazz. Looks like I think it's Warpstone beat Jay Deng. Jason Deng. So Jason's going to lose his bracket now. How's uh? How's uh, Cuckoo? Cuckooba. Is he good now or? No, Cuckooba is still not online. He says he, he, he says he's starting up Octagon now. What game are you watching now? Dr. Feelgood versus B-Blum? That is correct. Just seeing Dr. Feelgood just queen the gambit the card inside Ben's remote. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna join up that game so we can talk about it while we wait for Kukuba. No worries. This is taking a really long time. <coughs> hmm. I already PM'd them. Don't don't message me the thread. So this is like a similar to see Regas Max. Yep, this is uh, Doctor Feelgood back with Regas Max. Uh, both of them vying for elimination, and it looks like so a Queen's Gambit on the upgrade in the remote, presumably. So this is like pretty much a free Queen's Gambit, or at least a risk-free Queen's Gambit. Um, unfortunately, no way to get into that remote past that UI, so if this is another uh, agenda, Regas Max might be in a little bit of trouble. I think Ben just scored a Vitrovis before, so there's nothing in this remote. Oh, okay, so this is two upgrades in this remote? Yeah. All right, so very likely it's like Breaker Baker and Ash, possibly San San Ash, possibly Caprice, um, but I'm not sure what exactly Ben has brought today. Uh, it looks like he's going to go for a score here, and he's going to add some additional protection in front of that Eli, and he's just going to trash the Enigma because Yagi's out, making it pretty irrelevant. Looks like he's not planning on trashing a program. Um, or at least he doesn't count on his ability to do so enough that he wants to pay the one extra credit to keep the Enigma alive. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a tough run. If you do want to try for this remote um, without a without a corroder, it would be difficult. But um, if he can like take money off, play corroder, and run twice, beating or trashing an Ash, that could be good enough. The question is whether this is Caprice or whether this is just a breaker big or a Sansa. If it's Capri Sash, that becomes very difficult. I think 
knife is on the table. Coffee on the paper towel, right there. So, yeah. Dr. Pugh doesn't play, I've had worse to draw a few cards. Looks like he doesn't quite have the answers he wants. Probably looking for Groder. So, on, Jesse. Hey. How's everything looking on your side? Um, let's take a look here. So let's take off money off of Katie. He's going to make the third click run to the remote. Ooh, we're going to see a toll booth here. I don't know if he has a David for as an answer to get through this. Because we can't quite see the heap. But you're probably just going to run a bounce here because you don't have a barrier breaker. And if you pull out David, then you just can't get through Eli. Do you want to jump over to the other game, or do they start the there? We're there, we're about to start. Rejected. They're about to start? Oh, okay, so I got to jump in the other game. All right, yeah. that's it. If they're ready, Kukuba, then I'm ready for them, too. Yeah, we're in it now. Yeah, we're going to jump over to uh, the winner's bracket game, Kukuba versus Vinegar Remake. Finally, like an hour later, we're starting up. Make sure that it casts like play. All right. I think we're good here. Money. How much time extension are these guys getting? Uh, they've got the full 50 minutes. We're going to play as fast as possible. Well, they've got the full 50 minutes. There's going to be like a long break for the winners after yeah. this. So it's okay if they go to time. Uh, I don't want to penalize them because I made them restart already. It's a big money hand for Kukuba there. And four ice and 50 minutes in hand for her vinegary. All right, drawn off the top. We're going to see a Tobu for vinegary mink. So he's got a good amount of ice all around. He's going to stall the 50 minutes to draw, getting a beal. He's no piece of hand, right? No econ, but. Mm -hmm. Set everything up. So not too bad. A lot of econ for Kukuba. Yeah, so much econ. And a self-modifying code. Oh, and a draw card now. So this is starting to look good for him. Mm -hmm. Let's start. I guess I saw SMC. Call it a day. Probably. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So what do we have here? Put some quality time in here. We're going to start off with a great start. Lucky finds Sure Gamble and Dirty Laundry and start an Andrew quality time click one. So Bring and Max will be able to get a hedge fund, hits a piece of ice down, gets a draw for a sweet streak here. What's that ice? That is? What, 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 do you want another ice on the board? Uh, there's a quandary. Oh, jeez. How do I forget the other ones? Uh, I do not remember. I one, of them was a, one of them was another toll booth, yeah? Is that is that the remote ice? The cold again? 
could be. A lot of people are like doing Tobus to, uh, to on remote now. It's quite Tobus on remote is pretty critical against Keith. It definitely allows you to play this never advanced game that can ignore Claude a lot better than if you were just fast advancing in a naked server or even like, you know, it's pretty much the only piece of MVI nice that's really going to attack the full Breaker Street Kate. Right. Um, like, Eli is sort of like a joke against Lady. Architect sucks against Mimic. Um, you know, the rest of the ice is like wrap around, like stopping ice. Um, it's pretty much either Toll Booth or Tax the Lady counters. It's pretty much the only two options. It's worth noting that this remote installed is in 15 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. He's just like installing in 15 minutes and not. Sure, draw a card, why not? Yeah, why not? It's like a quick to draw a card, but you have to spend a click later. But it does get it out Yeah, but area. they have to spend a click to run it. That's true. So. Oh, looks like he's going to spend the click to run it. It is sometimes dangerous. If you, like, let them get up to, like, two agendas, you can't really leave that alone. Otherwise, you risk just losing the game without time to shuffle it back in. Especially even if you just, like, wait too long. Sometimes that extra click to shuffle it back in is just, like, impossible to find because you're spending a whole turn fast advancing a million turns in a row. Maybe he's going to mid-season. <laughs> he's not. I know. All right, so there's the 15 minutes. There we go. And then, what's your last click gonna be? Punch it? No, you already installed something. Yeah, it's gonna be sure gamble. So, right. It could be or sure gamble. Like it's also uh, same old thing. Cause... Same old thing. Yeah, he doesn't have a memory for the second self yeah. out of Yeah, I meant so. All right, so there's a pad campaign. Easy enough to start off by installing that. Saw so, Tobu with a remote. Oh, he wants to start a brand new remote. He's just oh. gonna put an Astro behind the Tobu right now. So, so this is like a little bit of like a double bluff. You know he's got one SMC. Right. He knows he's got one SMC. Now the question is, do you, does he feel like paying through Tobu to get to this car? If it's like a Samsan or something, you know, not that important, and you pay through a Tobu to get to it. That can definitely put Kate in trouble. And now, uh, special offer is out too. Um, you've got to think about that one. If you can bait Kate into using an SMC on a taxi run into a special offer on a remote, it's often just like a gigantic, gigantic deal. Um, but here, he's actually installing the Astro. Yeah, I'm not sure that I would take that line. Not with the amount of money Kate has in the SMC. Yeah, well, we'll see if it works out. Uh, one big trouble with this sort of play is that Stimac just begs to get played on the server. Yep, sure. Because it's either a piece of taxi ice or it's something you don't mind trashing. And yeah, he's just going to make the run. Kukuba showing the UK national champion what's up. <laughs> no. Oh, you're talking about with the run? I think that was a toll booth. Well, assuming he doesn't just bounce off the toll booth. He's got enough money to go get Cyber Cypher, pay through, trash whatever the hell is there. If he really wants to, he can do it. And the thing about the toll booth is you're taxing them for three regardless of whether they jack out. So, like, sunk cost, uh, you sort of want to... You know, you're you're down three anyway. You might as well, right? You know, it's like it's like you can't really think about the three credits anymore. Yeah, the three credits are gone. The three credits are gone. So this is really only two to break, plus the one to get the cyber three. It's three to get the cyber cyber, and then two more to break. So he's gonna lose three. He's gonna go down to five breaking. Not everyone's playing cyber cyber anymore. Some people are playing Gordian Blade. We saw that earlier today. That's true. Some people like Gordian Blade. Some people like one cyber cyber, one zoo. Um, some people like double cyber cipher. Double cyber cipher is a little bit risky if you can't fit your second scavenge and fitting those extra cards in the kit. We all know right now is pretty difficult, especially now that you're trying to fit class creep too. And oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, but he's going for it with forty. Yep, that's good. All right, so this is so this is a short term win for Kukuba, definitely. If he's breaking this and stealing an Astro, that's fantastic. Um, but long term, this is a very bad thing that only has Gordian Blade to break this whole group. The fact that he, every time he wants to check something in the server, he's going to take five. It's not sustainable for Kuka K. Uh, which means that um, no matter how many clots he can install, a clot, clot, 
just became largely a non-issue. This pays seven, right? Seven pays seven, yeah, not five. Five rupees with cyber cyber. Wait, does he not have enough money to do this? No, he does. He says pay seven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that just broke. Wait, did they? Oh, I'm missing all these installs. I'm sorry, guys. So, installs two new remotes and one in there. So, we're all going to be in, caught up for surprise now. It's all symmetrical. The draw is symmetrical. Finding another sure gamble. So, to find all these econ cards, the only unfortunate thing is he's actually not finding his prepaids. Oh, and Alex is going to res two path campaigns. I think this was a Beal he had in his hand here. Yeah. yeah that was a Beal. Alright, so he does manage to score a Beal behind the slow move. Yeah, Beal behind the slow move if you guys pad campaigns online. That's good. Let's let's see how Cuckoo Buy's money situation is going with this draw. He finds a sure gamble. Still no prepaid. Um... I think you gotta keep drawing here. We found a Makers, which is not bad. Oh, he's an Index. He's just gonna go straight for it right now. This is pretty good, actually. Been remake on zero credits. Yep. This is a pop-up window. You're sad. You're very sad. It's very, 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 very bad news. Uh, okay. It's a pop-up window. It's always a fucking pop-up window. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I'm happy if it wasn't. I mean, if he sees uh, like three nice and generous that are not NAPD off the top, he reorganizes it. He can just credit maker's eye and just. Yeah, he can't because if he credit maker's eyes, he can't get by. Oh, sh never mind. Yeah, I unfortunate. Think big problem with this, with this is with double pad campaign out, um, and with Kate like having no prepaids and just one sure game on one hand, she is now very far away from playing. Um, NAH is just winning this econ war like by a lot. With the pad campaigns for sure. The class factor is not is, is not relevant anymore. I think if I saw multiple agendas on this run, I'd bury them. Remember where they were and Maker's Eye for them later. Yeah, good luck. What if they play a Jackson on them? They might. What if they just draw a But you're going to know if they're going to draw one. They'd have to already have it in their hand. Oh, that's not unlikely or anything. It's not unlikely. What in a cut situation with three lies? It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we can't see what. Cuckoo Sometimes does. you have to. I mean, the pop up window stifled the play, so. Plus, if he buries the agendas, his opponent's likely to think that they're yeah. not there. And he can also use his 15 minutes, right, just to reshuffle the deck, so right. it doesn't matter. Because when you get indexed, if they don't go back to R&D, you think, okay, my R&D's safe for several turns. Sometimes. Most people do. Mind games, okay? Mind this games. is usually true. In this situation, you gotta think about it. I I'd stop him today, too. Obviously, you saw nothing but like eight for that if you that. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a real problem. Alright, so Kukuba just takes some credits. Hmm. Sans is good. So, a play that I'd like to make here is play a naked Sansan -San to draw a card. Um, if you don't draw an agenda, then I just take your credit and shuffle 15 minutes in. So... No, he's gonna, he's gonna shuffle in first. I would've actually installed that Sansan beforehand, because... Yeah, do it in the other order. I mean, look at your options. When you're playing against NEH, you sort of assume they're gonna draw a card every turn, so I would've put agendas two cards deep. So I would've felt like, if somebody was pulling that, they would... not put an agenda as the next card, and I don't want to draw an agenda here. Well, maybe you do, actually. Maybe you do want to draw an agenda here. Just making R&D twice is annoying. Two pop up windows. Two pop up windows. Double the fun. <laughs> double the fun. I mean, Yogg. You can do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna uh, probably continue following the winner's bracket matches um, as we keep going. Yep. Uh, we'll jump in. We might we might miss a round in the loser's bracket because this one started so late, depending on how late it goes. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, we'll be able to definitely catch like you know the finals of the losers bracket. 
which is pretty far off right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's several rounds away, and some of these games are already finishing. Five to fifteen minutes again. Fifteen minutes again. <laughs> Warpstone beat Jason Dang in the other winner's bracket match. All right, so Warpstone will be playing the winner of this. Yeah, the winner of this will be playing Warpstone, who uh, powered his way to the top with his naked Astro script against Yeah, that was excellent. That was fantastic, yeah. Very well played. I think he's playing Noise on his own. He's the one playing the hybrid kill deck. Who is he? I don't know. No, no, no. Have we seen his uh, runner deck? Yeah. Okay. No, no, we haven't seen this one. Okay, I just looked you it looked up. it up. Okay. It's nice. <laughs> What's there to see? Does he have a daily cast, or does he have a cyber fever, or does he have a Shahara's eye? <laughs> Alright, so that's a lot of point chips in the SMC. So the clock factor is alive, but who really cares? Did you see that install? Yep. It was at uh, 50 minutes. On uh, inside the remote, and the install in there was Jackson, the new remote. Oh, okay. So 15 minutes is square. I think you gotta discard one of these. Oh no! Really? You discard the Eli over the Architect? This doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't make too much of a difference. You really don't wanna. You wanna res probably. My, my thinking is that if you play multiple Eli's, you can start to think about taxing Lady Counters. Right. But the Architect is pretty much just terrible. <laughs> Once the Mimic is already in play. Yeah, you're gonna tax him for two. That looks cool. You wanna watch? So, Kukuba taking a moment to think here, see his options. It's currently two to three, and Burger makes a favor. So, a symmetrical hit into a lucky find. Here we go. Getting the econ boost he needs. I mean, I feel like in this hand, like, you don't care what levy, really. You don't usually want to levy against him. You don't usually want to. He did draw a lot of his econ cards early, though. He might do it early just to reset. Yeah, it becomes more necessary as you, if you don't draw the blue baits. Because your deck gets better, and your, your long-term pitch econ is, like, a little bit in danger. When you run out of econ cards, you haven't played a lot, you just do that. So, he used clicks 2 and 3 to play the lucky find. And what does the last second look like? Run, Drawing. Sure. Flat. So, now you just discard it and use a clone chip if you want. Okay. Uh, let's uh, say you're going to discard Ammon instead. That's a good discard, too. For the same reason. So we're gonna make a draw two. I missed the install. Did you catch that, Jesse? <laughs> What's that? Did you catch a remote install? I did not. Sorry. I was busy showing these cameras that Dan's making food since they were asking. Cricket stream. <laughs> Cricket stream. And it looks like he's gonna install the architect onto the remote, making that remote pretty taxing. Yeah, architect told me from this remote. You're just trying to add a two credit tax. That's not. That's not totally unreasonable. He's still low on money right now. He's got the pad campaigns, but his opponent's got 18 credits. Could blow him up at any, any turn. Uh, without his prepaid. Yep. And uh, the maker's eye. It's going for it. Well, the double pop up window is pretty helpful. It is, sure. Gets credits off it. Yep. He's got Clot in hand. Um, the Finger Mink doesn't know that. Uh, it's actually a bad thing. So what's the access going to look like here? Oh, he touched the Cyberdex, so I'm going to trash that. And looks like it's going to be a whiff. We're not going to touch anything off the top R&D. Nope, just Cyberdex. Which is not too bad. Removing that 
It's actually not a bad thing. So two flicks left. He's gonna do draw a card here. I consider doing something about Jackson as well. And as I check this remote. It's gonna cost nine to get in. So I'll have just enough just to trash the Sansen. If, it's, if there's a sound in there, but let's see what he what he bounces into. I didn't see the install. I think Alex is probably happy about this. I mean, I'd be happy about it. Just pop up window. He's got the two off the pad campaigns coming in. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna blow up money? It's a pretty good blow up of money here, so I'd be happy about it. How many you got cards? Uh, he's played two lucky finds, a sure gamble, and a dirty laundry, I believe. He's got plenty. Of Two lucky finds, two sure gambles, and dirty fun, yeah. Uh, two sure gambles, okay. Dirty laundry, sorry, not dirty fine. And this remote is looking pretty strong. I mean, it begs the question, like, maybe we should bring back the Fems. Fems always so, made. Playing David. Oh, and there's a team sponsorship there for Vinegar. Yeah. Looks like he installed the B on the server. Okay. No response there. Waiting for the quad. He's doing and, it. Wow. And, wow. This is uh the Beal train. Spent all his money to ship from San San to score a Beal. I'm not sure that. I mean that that uh, San San City Grid's gonna stay there for a while. I just think about yeah, it. Yeah, I guess the San San's as safe as the Beal itself would have been. Because it's fortune credits to get into the server and trash, right? Also, he can sort of assume at this point that Kate's only line is going through R and D, which involves pop up windows and more money for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. He's 300 HQ. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. He doesn't mind. He's got the most ir irrelevant team sponsorship in the history of team sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> Trash it. Come on. Guess not. Guess not. You never know. He might need to like score a breaking news for a Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Why remember the Cyberdex? Total Limbs in no time. I don't know how. I don't know how to get to that. Oh, it's gonna force the issue here. It's gonna force out a SMC. Stay on the computer. Or actually force out a clone chip. There we go. So I'm sorry, what was that install? You clone chipped in a, a clot, to, but he had no more MU, so he had to get rid of the um, the SMC, yeah. So, but what is this? What is this on the Santa? Um, it's an asset. It's not an agenda. I forgot okay. what asset was. Oh, was it the team sponsor? It's the team sponsor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's, I haven't had my coffee today. Is I've the been... clot still in Kate's HQ? The clot still in Kate's HQ? Yeah, uh, no, it's installed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, he just installed it over SMC. Got it. And there's the uh, Astrolabe. Just to turn too late. Too late. Zone critic, okay. Don't worry about NAPD. Yeah. Right. He's just gonna find out he's got dicked around quite a bit. Yeah, this is very good play from now. Fruitless. This is not looking good for Kate. No. Gonna look at the gonna look at the new uniforms made from HP. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see it again. Either. Take a look at the new uniforms. <laughs> yeah. And the free astrolabe. Astrolabe later than Ben Blum to this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Another toll booth. That's wrap around, right? Going out on top. I mean, 
mean, this one's done. Alex is just waiting to draw an agenda. Oh, he, found he has it. fast track, right? Okay, sure. Yep, reasonable. Did you just fast track up an NAPD? Yep, sure did. Yep, seems good. Smart guy. Damn. Smart. His opponent yeah. has film critic. Oh, yeah, his opponent has film critic. Because that's it. I guess it does, like, buy you a little bit of time. I guess if his opponent does figure out a way to steal something, he'd rather him steal an NAPD than. Yeah, it is slower. Where's that stim Oh, there's a stim hack. Yep, there it is. But. It's coming. But he's gotta figure out a way. Let's see, so. Clone chip, trashing. He's already got clone chip. Yeah, I'm just doing the math. He's I gotta... don't think he has enough money to get his uh, lady. Because the wraparound yeah, is right? A... That's a wraparound. Yeah, he's not gonna get in. So, if you stim hack in, he's got lady in the discard? No, he's got an SMC. Oh, that's not enough. Yeah. He needs six for seven, so he's fifteen. Well played. Very well played. Yeah, he credits that. They don't have olive oil, they only have the big ones. And then the bottom olive oil at the corner store on Rittner is ten dollars. You want to shoot that from oil after that? Or? No, I'm going to go to Acme. <laughs> All right, so the wraparound's coming up. Stim hack went out. Cry a little bit inside. Yeah, I mean, really, did he have any prayer with this to begin with? The stim hack. What are you? What are you trying to figure out, Jesse? Yeah, I mean. If there was any barrier there at all, no matter what it was, he didn't have any prayer. Yeah, he, he wasn't going to be able to get in. He's going to bring out some C. Parasite? Huh? What is he parasiting? Oh, pop up. I guess he's gonna try uh, last ditch maker's eye. Let's see. Call time on it. Just on it. Yeah, I think he's just going to do Maker's Eye right after this. There you go, see? There it is. And this is a big Hail Mary. Huge dog here. It has to be a perfect hit, which is like Astro, Astro, or Astro Beal, and a breaking news. This is, yeah, this isn't a stim hack run, so it's pretty much done here. Yeah, Astro, Astro, breaking news, Astro Beal, breaking news, some combination of that. There's only... Uh, one breaking news, two Astros, and one Beal. So it needs to be like next to perfect. There's, you, you can only miss one. <laughs> I mean, you can't miss any, but there can only be one agenda. Is Ahmed done? He also could have lost the Maker's Eye to, what was it called? To brain damage, so you have to make sure that ended first. And of course, Jackson to make that deck thicker of just crap you can't touch. No, we're doing MCD. Oh, we are? Yeah. Alright. And we're going to be seeing 22 cards in Alex's deck. Top three. Oh, well, there's one out of three. Alright, so it looks like. Uh... Alex White, UK national champion, moving on to the British Grand Finals.